Boredom is the drug you need to avoid because that's where people start making bad choices. Typically, they don't become a drug addict. They become a consumer of garbage. They waste time. They consume excuses. Dude, I got 168 hours in a week. I think that's what it is. Dude, I don't wanna use them all, man. You need to make goals that are giant. Not like your mom and dad said. Your mom and dad said, tone it down, you know, have some reasonable goals, something attainable. And that what happens is when the goal is attainable, it's no longer exciting. Because if you can go get it easily, you're gonna take it for granted. I could be perfect for everybody in the room. Half the people are still gonna be like, you know, he's too cocky, he's too this, he's too that. I'm 57 years old, I spent 30 years trying to please people. I ended up with nothing, man. When I finally said, you know what, I'm done, dude. The more energy I spent trying to please people, mm -hmm. make you happy, them happy, mom happy, daddy happy, I still couldn't make everybody happy. I'm like, you know what, I'm done, dude. I'm gonna make me happy. I'm gonna run my gig, this is my life. I wanna create the life I want for me, and if you don't like that life, you probably don't even like your life, because that's the people that end up criticizing me. So the game is, how do I get it? How do I keep it? How do I fortify it? How do I support it? How do you keep making this thing bigger and bigger and protecting it? Again, a lot of people can get it, but can you keep it? And then can you make it bigger? That means people, I need good people, I need more ideas, I need more production, I need to not get complacent. I, absolutely, I, I wanna do things I don't wanna do. I hear guys say, I don't do stuff I don't wanna do. Who are you? Who's taking care of you then? How arrogant that you wouldn't do something you don't wanna do. Most people grow up poor and they wanna move up. We never hear any stories about people that start in the middle and go straight down, okay? And I went straight down, and then down, and then down. I'm a guy that grew up in the middle class. All I do is do drugs all day long. I don't learn a damn thing, nothing. One night, there's a deal that goes down in my house. Me and another buddy are partying. I open the door to walk this dude out, and this other guy jumps up on this, uh, this step, puts a 45 caliber pistol right in my face, literally right here in my face. Jam the barrel right into my head. You can see the scar right here, okay? Then he took the back of it and started hammering both sides of my head, underneath the mouth, on top of the head, put 76 stitches in my head and face. And I went to the hospital. 28 days later, I was in a treatment center for drug addiction. And I finally put my first couple of days not using drugs together. But more importantly than not doing something, I started something that day. I'm going to become somebody. If you turn the, the TV on, you're gonna hear bad news, bad news, bad news. That's bad enough, but then the ads that follow the bad news. Are you sick yet? Do your legs hurt? I mean, it's ad after ad after ad about why you have actually felt, felt it's kind of going back to what we're talking about right now. Why am I so alive? It's because I want to be in the up, upward cycle, regardless of my age, I want to be in the up, upward cycle of creation. Money is it's a terrifying thing because it's the one thing in life you know, the NFL is not going to give me the ball and I'm never going to get a chance to golf. I can't win in those environments, but with money, everybody gets money. It's the one place where everybody gets it. And now what do I do? And I, I can lose it now. So it's a terrifying concept. You know, very few of us ever, ever get any kind of influence or power, right? Once you get it, you're like, hey, what do I do with this? Am I going to do the right things with it? And so I think people withhold themselves because they don't we're not educated about money. We don't know where it comes from. We have a lot of misinformation about it. Our parents terrified us. You know, money doesn't grow in trees. Save your money, it'll save you. All these, these, these things our parents told us because they were encumbered with the same kind of liabilities around money. Right. I don't know how to get it. I don't know how to keep it. And the, th the third, the worst part that we're all at is I don't know how to invest it. And this is what our parents didn't understand, okay? So Bob goes out, Bob or Betty goes out and they work and they make, they do really well and they make 200 grand a year. Maybe they're online doing online sales. Hustle, 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 sell, trading their most valuable thing. This is what I did for 25 years, from 25 to 51 years old. Spent my most valuable asset time mm -hmm. to get money, terrified, terrified every second of every day. That's, that's really what's driven me the whole time was terror. Like when you don't know, you're going to be scared. Yeah. So I'm going out to get money. I won't, I won't spend any of it because I'm terrified if I can't, I don't know how to get more. I'm worried I can't keep getting more. And so what, what do you do with a thousand bucks, right? You know, I, I think you just got to keep investing in you until like, oh, oh now I'm making $3,000. Mm -hmm. Okay, boom, reinvest all that again. 
But what we do is we start taking it off the table, right? So I think people just need to get on that that cycle of like, okay, I'm gonna keep repeating this activity. I'm gonna reinvest some money in myself, go to the workshop or whatever. Mm -hmm. Monday, I gotta be hustling again. Until, okay, now I got $4,000. Okay, now I got 5,000. Now the income's starting to pick up. Income has to pick up. In The income should be an indication that whatever you're learning is helping you. Until one day you're like, okay, I have more money here than I can actually, there's nothing I can go to right. to get rid of this money. You need to get rid of that money though. You shouldn't put money in a house, you should put money in your brand. You should put money in the marketing. You should promote yourself, not put money in where you and the kids live. Because it's dead money. I mean, it's a house can't make you money. A house does not make you money. The only reason people think a house makes them money is they're comparing it to if I rent, that costs me money. But if you need to go to a hospital, you don't buy the hospital. You rent a bit to get out of there as fast as you can. If you go on a trip, you go to America and you want to go to Disneyland, you don't buy the hotel. You rent a room. And nobody thinks bad, poorly of that. They're like, yeah, I'm going to go there, use the place and get out. That's what you should be doing with your living. Find a place where you can rent. Rent, rent, pay rent monthly. Don't own the house. And take all the money that you would have put in that house purchase, down payment, extra money, fixing it up. Use all that money to improve your business and yourself so that you can get more money. I do stuff constantly I don't want to do. It doesn't matter what I want to do. You know, what's my purpose? What's my potential? And am I willing to work toward that? So I, an idea that I would work four hours? No, well, that, that, that's just not real for me. If you told me, hey man, I got this opportunity for you to work part-time, I have zero interest. I want to be great at what I'm doing. And I know, I know without reading any book, I have to dedicate time and energy effort and I have to hit. I have to be frequent. I've never gotten good at anything. Everything's taken, it's been a lot of work for me. So everything for me, whether I'm that little uncoordinated kid, it's taken a lot. You know, it's taken me 30 years to find any kind of success or any sense of, okay, I'm starting to find myself. You know, probably two or 3,000 speaking engagements before I felt like I was comfortable on stage. Three businesses that were freaking jamming before I said, you know, you might, be a, you might actually be a legitimate businessman. You know, now, now we're at seven businesses. We'll do probably 150 million bucks this year. I got, I'll hit a billion dollars in real estate probably before the year's over. I'm just starting to feel like, you know what? Maybe, maybe I'm gonna make it.